in being there are no efforts when being is without knowledge it is matter like this table no efforts lift from anywhere keep anywhere put anything on that kya farak padta hai so being is effortless when being is associated with knowledge then it is falling from the being to becoming the how the being becomes becoming how the being becomes becoming and then we can very easily understand we don't have to go anywhere from our own experiences we are all born as man and woman so to remain as man and woman is being like the table is man is woman is no difference but this man and woman they have got one additional faculty that is i know then what happens this existence starts thinking unnecessarily and what is the thinking if i break this wall and open it it will be big hall getting lost in that if i am able to get an intelligent beautiful obedient good wife i will be happy now why do we seek anything in our life the seeking is through action like you have come over here or what you may not know swami ji we know what good food so all the efforts of our life they are directed towards only one thing we are all seeking happiness we eat the food for becoming miserable no we sleep for becoming miserable no we get married for becoming miserable no we don't get married to become miserable you become that's a different issue there after you think who is miserable your spiritual life begins when your questions change from why to why how when where you know w is the most nasty alphabet of english language why when where well why I stop here. <laughs> Friends, so who becomes miserable? Not the man, but the wife. So now this wife is miserable, and husband wants to make her happy. Both of them are. nowhere and our whole life is spent only in this 
the reason is we are still either getting lost in karma, karma, karma or getting lost in upasana, upasana, upasana. They are necessary. Like when we go in our earlier days, KG1, KG2, then primary, then middle school, then high school, it's all necessary. No doubt about it. I met one man in Delhi after 30, 35 years. So when I met him first, he was horizontal. He was in the lap of his mother. Then again I met him after about 4-5 years. He became vertical. So I asked him, hey, what do you do? I, I go to KG1. Oh, very good. Good to do, study, good. Okay. Then again I met him after 40 years. So naturally the same question. Hey, how are you? What are you doing? I am in KG1. Still in KG1? Yes, why? I like that miss. Children say, na, when they don't want to go to the next class, I don't want to go. I want to be missing. See? Now, going to KG1, KG2 is essential. But can we justify to remain in KG1, KG2 throughout life? Kabhi to bade ho. Grow. And that growth is achieved through karma and upasana. 